Concussions are a problem, but they aren't talked about in the youth or even in pro soccer as much as they should be. In fact, in 2016, the adolescent concussion rates rose. Every year, 1.6 to 3.8 million concussions occur in the United States alone. The reason why concussions are such an urgent problem is because the damage it does to the brain is dan- dangerous. Did you know that a pro soccer team in the U.S. lost six players because they retired? They retired because they had gotten concussions. Additionally, two of their players were on the bench because of head injuries. These injuries and concussions were either from player-to-player contact or head-to-ball contact. Player-to-player contact occurs when two players try to head the ball and collide. Head-to-ball contact happens when a player hits the ball. A few years ago, I was playing indoor soccer. A goalkeeper from the opposite team punted the ball so far and met me at half field. I wanted to he- I, w- I headed the ball to bring it to the ground. Since it was kicked with such force, it, it really hurt, but I still ended up with no concussion. Any force being put against your head, like that of a soccer ball, may cause damage. Even a small hit on your head can cause damage. So, with the average weight of a soccer ball being 16 ounces, depending on how hard it was kicked, it can be damaging. This type of head to ball contact happens repeatedly in a game. When this contact happens over and over, people can get CTE, chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or a TBI, a traumatic brain injury. CTE is a progressive degenerative disease in the brain. This means that it slowly kills brain cells. This causes very sudden mood swings, confusion, and it can even lead to dementia, a disorder in the brain. CTE is caused by a repetitive brain trauma, like concussions. TBI is a brain injury caused by an outside force. Additionally, concussions can cause memory loss. If a young kid gets a concussion and experiences memory loss, this can be awful because this can last an extensive of time. Now, yes, there are... Yes, there is a proper way to head the ball without causing damage. That is, striking it right in the middle to the top of your forehead. However, most children won't have the time to consider the precise placement of their head in order to not cause harm. This is why heading the ball in soccer should be banned. You never know how fast the ball is going or when it will end up hitting your head. I know personally, even during practice, all my teammates complain about how their heads hurt. Their heads hurt because in fast-paced shows like ours, they can't place their head in a way where it won't cause harm. So how harmful is heading the ball? Head to ball or player-to-play contact is very dangerous for all ages, especially the youth. There are cases of all ages getting concussions from soccer, but these were just a few. I believe heading the ball in soccer should be banned. Every player who violates this will be given a penalty and the ball will be given to the other team. Instead of heading the ball to control it, use other methods and ways like your chest or knees. I want you all to remember that games aren't always just fun and they can seriously injure someone if not careful. Thank you.